In lesson 2.3, we are going to write two-step equations. So we're going to translate sentences into equations using three steps. In step one, words, we're going to describe the situation in the problem using only the important words. In step two, variable, we're going to define a variable to represent the unknown quantity. And finally, in step three, equation, we're going to take our verbal model and translate that into an equation. So let's look at example one on page 130. We have eight less than three times the numbers in negative 23. And we want to be able to pick out kind of those important words. So uh, eight less than would be an important piece. Three times a number, another important piece of that sentence. And then finally, is negative 23. Now let's let n represent the number. And so our last step in writing a two-step equation is to take the words, take the variable, and create an equation. So three times the number is going to be 3n. Eight less than is going to be minus eight. And then finally, is negative 23 is going to be equals negative 23.
Here we have example 2 on page 130. So 13 is 7 more than 1 fifth of a number. So let's pick out the important words. So 13 is is going to be important. 7 more than is going to be another piece that's important. And then finally, 1 fifth of a number. And just like in the last example, we're going to let n represent the number. And our last step, step three, is that we're going to turn these words and variables into an algebraic equation. So 13 is, is going to be 13 equals, one fifth of a number will be one fifth n, And then the final piece is going to be seven more than, and we can write that as plus seven. Now it's your turn. Try problems A, B, and C on page 130. Pause here if you need to work on those problems before moving on. Move on to example three on page 131. We have three books that each cost the same amount in a magazine that costs $1.99. And the total cost of the books in the magazine is $55.99. So what we want to find out is what is the cost of each book. So I'm going to pull out the important words. The books cost the same. Three books in a magazine cost $55.99. Sense. And finally, the magazine costs $1.99. The variable step, I'm going to let B represent the cost of a book. In step three, I'm going to write the equation based on the information that I have. So I'm going to write 3B because I have three books. B is the cost of the book. I'm going to add $1.99 to that, which is the cost of the magazine, and that's going to equal $55.99. Since this question is asking me to find out how much does each book cost, I want to solve this two-step equation. So I'm going to rewrite the equation, 3B plus 1.99 equals $55.99. My first step is to subtract $1.99 from each side of the equation. That'll get me 3B with $1.99 minus $1.99 is zero, so I'll just have 3B equals 54.00. My next step would be to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of B, which is 3. So 3B divided by 3 is just going to be B. 54 divided by 3 is $18. So each book costs $18. In example 4 on page 131, we have a personal trainer who buys a weight bench for $50 and weights for $24.99 each. The total cost of the purchase is $849.86. What we want to find out is how many weights were purchased. 
So I can start with step one of uh, pulling out the important words. So the weight bench costs $500. Weights cost $24.99 each. And the total cost of the bench and the weights is $849.86. For the variable, I'm going to let W represent the number of weights that were purchased. In step three, I can take all of the information now and write an algebraic equation. I have 500 plus 2499W equals $849.86. So at this point, I'm going to solve the algebraic equation using two steps. I'm going to start by rewriting it. And the first step is to subtract 500 from each side of the equation. So 500 minus 500 is just going to be zero. So on the left side of the equation will be 2499W. W is the number of weights that were purchased. And that's going to equal $349.86. My second step is to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of W, which is 2499. 2499W divided by 2499 will just be W, 1W, and 349.86 divided by 2499 is 14. So, I now know that 14 weights were purchased. So your assignment is to work on page 133, numbers 2, 4, 6, 7, and 8. And make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more math tutorials.